<laughs> it's me, JD. This is the Colonel. S this is the Colonel Sanders uh, dating simulator. Finger looking good one. Colonel? I'm here with my friend James. I wanted Colonel? to show him this masterpiece. Hi, I'm I'm Jimmy. Yes, his I call him James. Other people call him Jimmy. Just works like that. It's weird. You ready for this, James? No. All right, let's new game. What do you want our name to be? Uh, Mario Lopez. What? <laughs> you know, the you mean the guy who's who on the, the the TV dude? <laughs> yes, the same guy who played Colonel Sanders in their drama movie. Oh, I don't even need to make it. It's just all capital anyway. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that how you spell it? Mario yes. Lopez. All right. Ah. By the way, is it too um pixelated for you or can you see the words? I can see it. Okay. I just want to let you part. know. Yeah. Though I got a feeling there's going to be a part where it, like it, everything drops and for some reason I can't see a thing. Oh, yeah, wow, this actually looks very what? This looks very clear comparatively. Okay. To what I usually you sleep see. softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your <laughs> modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. I'll let you make all the choices, James. How about that? Smack that alarm. I mean, smack that clock up and out. Gotta smack that. Throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. Okay. Throw that clock out the window. You want the second one? Yeah. All right. It's way more drastic. And you slept through the school year and gave up in a once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Sweet. Game over already. I give up. You <laughs> KFC. Wait, is he gonna play the loud ass intro again? Please. Oh my god, it is. It's not skippable. <laughs> or I guess we're sitting through it. <laughs> oh my god. Holy crap. I'm gonna jack up the music. I'm gonna jack up the audio in this. It sounds even louder than this right now. It's a great right video. <laughs> well, th thank you for joining us so much on our first video <laughs> of Colonel's. <laughs> if you enjoyed, leave a like and a subscribe. Um, it was a really rough journey. It took us a long time, but I'm glad we decided. I decided to do this with, oh with James. So, uh, out of ten, what would you rate the game? James, you're right. Yeah, just give me a second. <laughs> oh, oh, my stomach hurts. Dude, oh, I'm going to cut hurts. out all of that probably. Please do not. Oh. Oh. I read the game 10 out of 10. Thank See you geez. all next time in the next video. Goodbye. Outro. Yep, outro. <laughs> okay, let's play the game. All right. What do you want to do? Mario. Oh, you mean like that guy on uh, TV? We're not redoing the entire bit. All right. <laughs> What's his middle name? Oh, good question. Luigi. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Lu Luigi Lopez. How about the. Oh, I can't actually fit all his name in there. So we're just going to go with Mario Luigi Lop. This <laughs> loading oh. screen's really cool, by the way. Oh, my stomach. Ooh. Oh. That's some. Um, that's oh, special right there. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a work through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wait. Actually, I didn't even check if, we're, if our dudes are in the right spot. Hold up. I'm going to move you just a little bit. I'm going to move me a little bit. There we go. That's perfect. Should I have drawn us to look like Colonel Sanders for this episode? Nah, no. <laughs> no, absolutely oh. not. Oh my All right, god. There, there we go. That should be good. I like how if I stay on this the entire time, it's going to keep clucking. That's good to know. Uh, all right. Smack that clock up and out. Throw that clock out the window. <laughs>
I'm not doing it. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, think about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Acad Acad Academy for Learning. <laughs> Your mind begins to learning. wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? The time begins to fly by and your imagination is getting away from you. But there never seems to be any time to do the things that <laughs> <laughs> need to do. Time I wonder if I could turn on the... Uh, I guess it, what is this, dude? Oh, this is the... Hold on, let me... There we go. That's better. enough time. Do the Which one, James? You You'll need to take it this seriously or you allow yourself to daydream a bit thinking about the future? Yeah. Uh, now you know this is a life oh. and death choice and there is oh, no. an answer. You allow yourself to daydream. <laughs> it's here, finally. Your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Like seven. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. Seven because that's the main cast. <laughs> you grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. Biscuit. <laughs> Did you hear oh. that? Oh. <laughs> Just a little bit. There we go. Mmm, delicious. Just what you needed to wake up those taste buds. Yikes. You're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant. You smell like chicken before running out the door. You're sweating buckets of chicken as you rush to arrive on time. Uh-oh. I just realized we had a we had a chicken poster in our room. But, oh, yeah. And had the Japanese kanji for something. <laughs> I don't know. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. <laughs> Here comes your live log best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. And I'm <clears> telling <throat> you this because I can't get the name. Good morning, Mario Luigi Lap. Are you excited for the first day for the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I should have <laughs> excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot of nervous. You're a lot nervous? I thought you were Miriam. What's the... It shows that this morning I made breakfast <laughs> Are you for sure myself. sure you want that to be the voice? <laughs> well, no, it's supposed to be like a bobcat, you know, from Police Academy. What? But I, can't I don't really... know what you're talking about. Oh, well, he kind of he, he like constantly breaks in and out of doing it. So it just <laughs> always sounds good. Okay. It's just that this morning I made bread for myself, but well, then when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if no good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam. She <laughs> always fails. Raised by master chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Like Rorden Gamzee. Ever since we were little babies playing together, you rescued me from that quicksand box. What the? F There's a quicksand box at a playground? It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, care person I know. You're going to do great. And that hey, means you're an amazing is cook as well. microphone peaking? Huh? Is my microphone peaking? Just... No, is my microphone peaking? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. But with you, Marty, it's cool cooking. It's cool. Academy. <laughs> For learnings, famous <laughs> three day, only semesters. I'm afraid to be left behind and never catching up. Wait, three day, only semesters? Wow. A sweet girl, Miriam's always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. No. <laughs> what a goddamn loser. Guess what? Should you pep <laughs> All I can think about is John Chan just being like, what a fucking waste of human space. <laughs> Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Which one? Pep talk her. Oh, you want a pep talk? All right. Pep talk. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? It said that you would die in school. The lady with the mask who gave me the... <laughs> no, what the... <laughs> The lady with the mask gave me the nightmares. I've been trying to forget. She wow, said I good, would die in school. Good job, James. You just. I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told you that you were destined for great things in the afterlife. 
Remember that card with the fancy looking tower and the other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit? That was me. <laughs> I was the man in the red suit. I remember suit. seeing the devil when I looked at that man in the red suit. What the Those piercing yellow eyes. I can never forget them. <laughs> I've waited so long to meet the handsome fellow. I could call my own the devil in the afterlife when I What happened to school. your voice, Miriam? Did you go through puberty? And I'm sure realize, you will soon. Maybe, maybe my voice might be a bit problematic now I realize. So I'm doing that, a bit that, that, more. Now you realize that there's action. a lot of voice lines that you'll probably have to do in that voice? <laughs> in no time, we'll be graduating. You'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. And in no time, in no time. As you talk Miriam up in no time, you can fear her nerves begin to ease in no time in no at all. Time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? In no time... Maybe everything will be okay after all in no time. And if not no time, at least I have the, these killer beans. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, the killer. The killer for the eyes, dude. Killer in the school. Killer for the eyes. I think, you know, I like how many different reactions she has, though. That's pretty. This is a lot more. <laughs> Can you believe I cut them myself? Oh, that's why they're. That's why they're killer. In no time. <laughs> God. You can definitely believe it. No time. <laughs> Shut up, James. I uh, I cannot believe it. No before, you can get, <laughs> before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. <gasps> That's not where my spoons are supposed to be. Uh, hey, in no time. It's actually... <laughs> <laughs> Your arch rival, she's totally evil, it's gigantic knockers, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. Hello, Ashley. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there, chicken skins. Shins. Shins. <laughs> you leave Mario Luigi Lops shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I saw, I'm normal shins. <laughs> no time. Oh, I think she noticed that I got shin extension surgery. You can't stand Ashley. Even her name's annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than, anyone, than everyone. She didn't get to choose her name when she was born. Shut up, James. I know what I'm if talking about. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us in no time. Can I just say that she's got... Uh, she got like the chicken drums on her, th like chicken drum print on her thighs. Oh, I, I didn't even see it until you pointed it out. Yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so Please tight. Tell me into the voice of every character that isn't the main character. <laughs> do you want to? I kind of want to do another voice. <laughs> yeah, you can do another one, but I kind of want to do Van Van the Man. All right, fine. You can have Van Van the Man Man. Yeah. His pants are so tight, you can see the outline of his penis. He's working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Actually, <laughs> I was talking about penis, but he's talking about ass. Ahem, ahem, Van Van. <laughs> you ring ring? <laughs> it's Van Van. <laughs> You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van has been just as close Wait, as what you. What is he wearing? Um, giant belt buckle, plus um, <laughs> like an apron. <laughs> it's like That's... an apron, but he cut off the sides of the apron, and he's wearing a jacket over it. It's he's also like got that. The, he's got like the same hairstyle as Space Dandy. You've been just as close as you, Miriam, but substantially more devious. He's evil. You could tell just by looking. I can't believe that the University of Cookie School act to be for learning would Academy. even allow people like to, like you to attend as students. Like, what are you, seven? I know, right? You'd think they would just hand her name out the You want me to now? voice her? <laughs> you, I think you forgot her voice already, did you? No, it was this. Ashley was this. Okay. I read the line, JD. Yeah.
It's, or maybe you hire us as professor, professors, <laughs> professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us, us. God damn it. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So your wrists urge. Because there never seems to be any time. To do. <laughs> Let's go, Miriam. See you losers later. <laughs> I thought that sound was her pu you punching him for a second. <laughs> As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against oh, the window hey, directly next character. to it. <laughs> uh, oopsie. <laughs> I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick, you fucking, you fucking stupid waste of human breath. <laughs> fucking dumpling. I love you. <laughs> I think you mean thank you? My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. He's like 20 something. Did someone, did someone, Could ring someone ring? like this be a student at the school? He looks like he's three. He must have one heck of a chef. Oh, he must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Oh my god, this kid The is name literally... tag that you could clearly see. Oh uh, yes, he's clearly seen name tag. Hi, Pop. I'm Mario Luigi Lop. So <laughs> <laughs> you can just call me Lop. <laughs> Are you gonna make me hold this door all day? No. Nope. Jesus, he's just a child. And with that, the young man walks into the building. <laughs> no, he's a young man. Walks into the building ahead of you. He's probably <laughs> like thirty something. <laughs> is he just me, or is he kind of cute? <laughs> You like no a time. kid? <laughs> I think it's just you. He looks oh, no. ugly as fuck in my end. Oh, you both no. shrug your shoulders b before following him into the building. JD, I, I think I can see where that part's going. Who the what? fuck is what that? Who is that in the top <laughs> <do you> left? <laughs> <laughs> That's Bob Akerson, CEO of the Colonel the Colonel <laughs> Chicken since the current Colonel Did passed you away. Bob Akerson, as in Bob Akers? <laughs> huh? <laughs> You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. After all, there's not that many seats in this classroom. <laughs> Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit-chatting, chit-chat-chatting way. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable! Adorable! <laughs> I... You got it. Uh, now, now, quiet down, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup and why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSAL. I'm almost sure that's not her voice. <laughs> I know, ready? I've forgotten it. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still dispend respect, Wolf. This man? What? A cute dog is our Nothing. professor. This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. And maybe it will next time on C Colonel Sanders. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> you like, it's good. like and it's subscribe. See you. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe you should subscribe to the channel channel. <laughs> In no time. At all.